Problem 21. A top hat contains three red chips and two green chips. Chips are drawn randomly, one at a time without replacement until all three of the reds are drawn or until both green chips are drawn. We are trying to find specifically the probability that the three reds are drawn. So, what is the probability in the first place? <coughs> the probability of anything occurring is equal to the successful number of cases over oh, sorry, successful number of cases over the total number of cases. So in this case, how do we know the number of total cases? Well, the total cases here are the number of ways to draw chips, right? And remember, there are no like specific, um, there are no specific quantity of chips that we must draw. It's just like we can draw, for example, one red chip. But remember, the criteria, for, the only thing for the criteria is until all three or all two are drawn. So basically, we're just trying to find the number of ways that we can extract all five chips without, um, without uh, overlapping of distinction. For example, we cannot say R, right, R, 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 and let's call this G1, let's call this G1 and G2, right, if I swap them around, right, that's still the same case. So like we're just trying to find the number of ways to extract all five chips in a distinct order, but without overlap like the one you see here. So how do you do that? Well, we know that there are five chips in total, right, so in order to get the total number of cases, do five factorial, or 2 factorial times 3 factorial. The idea here is, is that we have 5 positions, right? And we have 2. The 2 factorial represents the, the number of places that the green chips can occupy. Let's say the 2 green chips just so happens to occupy here and here. Now, this green occupancy of G1 and G2 is the same thing if this was G2 and G1. So the idea here is divided by 2 factorial is just dividing it by the number of ways I can shuffle greens within their assigned slots. So let's say I put, for example, green here and green here. Well, how many ways are there to put these two distinct green chips on these two slots? Well, the number of ways is obviously G1, G2, and then swapping it, G2, G1. So for every single possible two spots that the two green chips can occupy, there's always going to be two, two ways to rearrange them after placing it. So that's what we divide by 2 factorial, and by the same logic we do it for the, for the red. Just for a quick visualiz visualization, we have five slots. We have red one, we have red two, we have red three. Problem is, red like R1, R2, R3 is the same as R3, R2, R1. They're, they're all red chips, it doesn't matter. So how many ways are there to shuffle these three red chips within the three slots that they're given? Well, that's obviously three factorial. So five factorial over two factorial times three factorial will give us the distinct ways to get a distinct arrangement like this one and not include where we shuffle G2 and G1. So that's equal to what? That's 120, right? Or let's do it this way. 3 factorial is 5 times 4, right? No, 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial is 5 times 4 divided by 2 gives 10. So your denominator for the total number of cases would be 10. Because these are the 10 ways to draw 5 chips from the bag to satisfy the condition of until all 3 or all 2 are drawn. But what about the numerator? Well, the numerator here is the number of successful ways to draw 3 red chips in total. We don't care about drawing 2 green chips. We care about getting the 3 red chips. So how many ways are there? The idea here is that, that whenever I draw 3 red chips, the game ends. So how many ways are there? Well, obviously we can go RRR, or we can go GRR, right? Or we can go RGRR, or we can go RRGR. The reason why we cannot do RRR... So the idea here is that we cannot have a green, right, after the number of R's. So however this is, we cannot have a green here. The reason why, because remember, if we choose all the reds previously, then the game ends. We cannot draw more, more chips. So that means the green must either happen in between the series of R's or before it. So we have this case to represent um, where the green happens before all the reds are drawn, and we have the cases where the greens are selected in the midst of drawing all the red cards, and then we have this case right here to represent the case that no green um, chips are drawn. So we have four total successes, so therefore we have four over ten. That reduces to two over five, and therefore your final answer will be answer choice B.